Want to install peel and stick tiles over a cement floor? Don't know where to begin? Here I will show you step by step on how to do that. I will also show and go over a couple of different tile layouts. So grab a coffee and enjoy the video. For the bathroom I'm using the same peel and stick tiles I used in the laundry room. It's by Traffic Master. And the tile is called Carrera Marble. This is what it looks like. I have a video on how to remove the old tile and prep the cement floor. Hey darling, you want to help mommy? I'm using a chalk marker to find the center of the room. Measure the four walls and find the midpoint of each wall. Then snap two chalk lines and where they intersect will be your center point. Do not take off the paper backing quite yet and start by placing the first tile on the intersection. The first pattern I'm going to try is called the subway. I've decided to do a stacked layout against the wall instead of the tub. Make sure they're going along the same direction. I'm saving the paper backing. I'm going to need it for the stencil. Here I'm trimming the paper to the exact size of the tile. Next I am laying down the paper exactly where the tile should go. And now I'm testing to make sure it fits. I place the paper backing on the tile and will mark where the cut should be. Okay, for the back of the toilet, once again, I'm using the paper and I traced around the toilet. Here I'm folding the paper in half and where the midpoint is, I make sure that both sides are equal. Cutting the tile, make sure it's going in the same direction. I tape the paper to hold it so it doesn't shift while I'm marking the tile. Be careful and take your time when using an X-Acto knife. Cut here so it's easier to snap off. Okay, I 
I'll do the circle with the X-Acto knife, but it's really hard to pop this out. Okay, I cut out the piece here there, to make it easier. There we have it. All right, here's the moment of truth. See if this fits. Okay, here we go. One thing I didn't take in consideration is that this does not fit behind the tank on either side it will not fit this is in the way so we're gonna have to take the tank off here I'm laying down the paper and marking the length of the tile and around the doorway frame this And here I just made a small adjustment. Next, how to cut and measure edge tiles. Without peeling the paper, lay down a tile and move the tile over the tile below it. Then I take another full tile, make sure it's going the right direction and place it against the wall. Next, I mark a cutting line where the tiles overlap and this is the tile you will cut. Before I cut this I will turn it around to show you how this works and fits and that's the line we're cutting. All right, here's my tile. This is the pencil mark that I made. I will cut it with the X-Acto knife. Once again, make sure it's going the right direction. This way. Okay, tile installed, looks good. Continue on. For this corner, I took some heavy paper. I cut around the corner. Make sure it fits, and now I'm going to go and cut the tile. To make it easier to cut the tile for the corner. This piece of wood reached all the way to the ground, and I decided to just simply saw it. to make room for the tile to go in easier so I don't have to cut around it. All right. 
right, here's our corner piece and let's see how this fits. <clears throat> you didn't fit perfectly, so I've had to make a few tweaks. I shaved off just a slight amount right here and I need to shave off this part right here. So what I do, I shave it with an X-Acto knife. All right, let's see how this fits. Perfect. Okay, this tile is just a tiny bit too wide. So what I do, you take a ruler. I just need to cut off like a quarter fraction of an inch. So I make a straight line and then I score it very carefully, which I already did. And because this is too tiny to uh, snap off, then I take scissors and cut where I scored it with the X-Acto knife. This way it gives me a more of a straight line than trying to do a freehand. Okay, let's see if this is going to fit. Okay, looks good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I am really mm -hmm. happy how this turned out. Looks so much better than the old flooring. It matches the wall paint perfectly. And I love the gray white theme I've got going on. I will do a total bathroom makeover tour soon. So stay tuned.